Hey guys, Pepe here from Custom Made RC on a Budget. I was skimming through the internet yesterday on Gijiji and um, I wanted to pick up another vehicle. I had some extra cash lying around and I go, I think I deserve another vehicle. So, you know, I'm always looking for deals and stuff like that. And um, um, yeah, so. I went on it and uh, I came across this vehicle that you see right above my head. It is uh, a Toyota pickup truck. It's an old school. I love the body on it. I love the wheels, the rims. Uh, everything about it is nice and beefy and bulky. It's uh, certainly built to take a, a punishment. Um, I'm always moving it around because this, this thing that I have that it's on, it's always wobbly and stuff, so. But it's a sweet looking truck. Um, the shocks on it are like super solid, super amazing. The front shocks is like like no other very very tough um, when I got the vehicle I gave it uh, a little test drive to see what works and what doesn't work and I find that everything does work although the radio that it comes with it comes with a 9 volt battery square those square batteries as you can see here those uh, those batteries yeah, it's a 9 volt. So. And um, now, I'm not sure if it's the battery um, or maybe the, the hertz on it. 49 megahertz. I don't know what that is. I got to do research on it. It's a Sector 7. Um, I got to look up the model number. It's... Um, What does it say here? 1.6 Tundra 1.5. This is a 1.6, so it's fairly large. I got the model number, so I'm going to look it up. What it does, a 10 feet from where I am, it, it doesn't give... I, I can't get a good uh, response when I turn the wheels after 10 feet. It's not get, uh, It shuts off. Uh, I can't get a signal, but if I go closer, I can. Now, I don't know if that's the way these vehicles are. I'm not sure. Not liking it, though, because this antenna, look how, look how high it is. It's pretty high antenna. And um, also with my acceleration, when I accelerate, right, when I accelerate, it's, it goes, it'll go over any terrain, okay, I do have to increase the power though, because it is a four-wheel drive, very large vehicle. It should go over pretty much anything, I think. But then again, maybe not, right? It all depends on what I change around inside there. Well, I'm going to do my research. If you guys have anything that you can shout out to me that I could fix or why I'm not getting a range with my... Uh, radio um, let me know give me some pointers I'm more of a guy that uh, doesn't spend too much money the guy on Gajiji was selling this for 200 bucks I got him down to $60 what a fucking deal how could you pass up on that offer right you just can't it's, it's just a, a nice 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 vehicle solid uh, tires are beautiful straight just the tires just the tires, you know, <laughs> they're fucking fifty, sixty dollar for two tires, right? Eighty dollar. These things are are beautiful, big rubber, thick tires. They're thick. They're thick. Nice, right? I paid my uh, big Joes. I paid them uh, sixty dollars for two tires. Sixty and sixty is one twenty. Just the tires alone, right? And those are big Joes. These are probably more expensive because the rubber is more thicker on it. And look at the, the chrome rims on it. You know, it's beautiful, the chrome rims in there. 
Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. So just on the wheels itself, $200 was a steal, right? But it was a kid. He got rid of it. I went there and I gave him that sad story. Oh, this is not the vehicle I thought you had. You know, I was looking at another video. I thought it was something else. So, hey, give you 60 bucks. You want it? Blah, blah, blah. I took it off his hands. He was kind of happy. So uh, he probably had this lying around a long time. So he probably didn't even, you know, miss it. But um, it's a great vehicle. I love the way it looks. Um, you know, the body is just sweet. It's got a nice, a nice, you know, back back end to that. It's just sweet, sweet, sweet looking. You know, it's a big, big ass truck. You know. I want to do some major upgrades on it, the shell, like to take off this, this shell, the body, um, you have to put a screwdriver to it because it's got four posts. And how you do that is by um, sticking a screwdriver to it. You just put the screwdriver up in there, right, and it's got one, two, three, four posts on it. And these vehicles were made for those kids, the kids of yesteryear, you know, demon kids, kids that fucking throw their vehicles uh, off of a fifth story building, you know, kids like you and me, like I'm 47 years old. I used to treat my shit badly, right? Um, Look at the shocks on the, the bumper. <laughs> this thing is just strong. It's strong. Like when you hit the, the, the wall, you're never going to fucking destroy because it absorbs it very, very well. It's a sweet vehicle. I love it off. The lights even turn on when I turn on the vehicle. And I'm going to set it up so I can get some tail lights on it too because it comes with a nice sweet tail. I just drill a hole underneath there. Like, there's tons you can do on this body, right? Because it's so separated from the frame. You can put lights up in there. I want to put uh, pipes. Uh, I want to put a uh, roll cage. Uh, maybe a nice uh, bar of lights up on here, you know. Uh, maybe a hood scoop. Maybe some flares over here. Maybe make my own flares, you know. Maybe put some lights in the, in this uh, floor, what the hell is this called, step uh, ladder, rocket panel step ladder. Uh, yeah, there's a, so much you can do to it. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll put like a, like a something over here, like maybe a little, you know, maybe some headlights, some floodlights, because it's got the holes already, I can put them right there. It'll look actually sweet. I could put some lights down here. It all depends where I want to put the lights. Or maybe I could put like a, a bull nose over here, you know, and make these lights work. I probably can, probably drill a hole right through it. Uh, there's it's endless possibilities to these type of trucks because there's so much you can do to them. It's so big and so easy to work at. With these ones, you're so just so afraid of working on them, like the, the electronics and stuff. This one, the electronics is so simple. The, the the you know, the wire's right there, and you could just there's tons of room to tuck it out of the way. You know what I mean? Like, cause you don't have to take off the body, right? There's plenty of room to work underneath it. Even if you take out these tires, you can still work on it easily. And if you do have to take out the, the body, it's not too, not too hard. Um, yeah, and I can even change the body so I could um, take out the body much easier because it's got the posts there. I could change it around where I could put the screws through and take them out with, the, with you know, some screw caps. Like I said, there's many, many, many possibilities to this. It's so easy to do. Um, 
yeah, I'm not really afraid of this at all. It's just so easy to work at. It's amazing vehicle. I'm really, I'm really happy I went to go pick it up. It's just a sweet vehicle. Do you guys agree? Um, you agree the way it looks? Did I make a wise decision? Uh, it's a really, really nice vehicle. Um, tell me what you think, guys. Subscribe. Um, I hope you guys like my video. Uh, if there's any pointers that I, I can share with you. Oh yeah, one more thing. When I purchased it and sent, went out for a little ride and found out all these flaws that it had, you know, uh, because the guy owned it and I don't know how long he owned it, I greased it all up. I greased everything. I took the tires out, made sure it's all nice and clean. I, you know, I went inside there, inside the drive shaft. I greased it all up with lithium grease. Yeah, these are things that you have to do to your vehicles just to to make them last that much longer. Um, yeah, it's it's a must. Uh, get right into the wheels. Make sure all the wheels are turning nicely. You know, it's it's just something that you you need to do. You can't just um, hope you turn on the vehicle and the vehicle is gonna gonna perform for you if you don't take care of her right picture a car like a woman if you don't take care of her she's not gonna do your duty you know what I mean take care of the woman she will take care of you car is the woman car is our baby right <laughs> uh, this is Peppy at uh, Custom RC on a budget. If there's anything that you guys can want to comment on or anything like that, um, go go ahead, feel free to do so. I'm going to be doing a ton of upgrades on this. I'm thinking of doing all kinds of stuff, like putting seats inside there, fiddling it all up, you know what I mean? Maybe changing this class. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm just... There's a lot of things going through my mind on this truck. It's just an absolutely beautiful truck to look at, to have, to own, to be by your side. It's a sweet truck. Hope you like it. I know I do. Peppy saying, if you like it, give me thumbs up. If you don't, don't know what to say. Thumbs down. Hope you do, though. Give me some feedback, guys. Peppy out.